So our Gemini is a 3200, it's a 1990, and it doesn't have a keel, it has um, center boards. I'm gonna show you what they look like when they're down. Follow me. I wanted to share with you why Gemini's are such a popular boat. Um, they're popular for the fact they have a shallow draft. Uh, from the factory, I think this one is uh, 18 inches. We're a little overloaded with probably 23 uh, with all this. Cause 23 living, inches is still 20, pretty good. 23 inches. Yeah. Um, that's with all the stuff on it. We're uh, full time level boards, so we're, we're a little overweighted. Um, but the reason we're such a shallow draft is we have a uh, center board. All right, I guess I need to explain what center boards are. The center boards are a retractable keel that folds up and changes the draft of the boat. If you look on the bottom of the hull, we have two slits, one on each hull, that the center boards are tucked up into when they're retracted and we motor around in shallow waters this way and that gives the shallow draft uh, you know for the gym and i are famous for these center boards can be lowered into the water below the hull of the boat and when we crank the handles inside it'll drop the center boards down and they stand about five feet below the boat and they become the keel of the boat so it helps with it sailing upwind definitely and, and, and it keeps it on track but it acts like the killer of a, of a sailboat, uh, any other sailboat, like a monohull. But the fact that they fold up, that gives us our shallow draft. And that's why we like the Gemini. Uh, we can get in anchorages that other people can't get into. And we can tuck up closer to land and get out of some bad weather. So we do have these uh, center boards and they're encapsulated in this fiber. But they're actually one on the starboard and one on the port side. We usually only use one, depending on if we're on a port or starboard tack. So I wanted to show you what that was all about, and how they work, and uh, give you an idea of the equipment that's on the boat, what it takes to sell our boat, to make our boat move forward. Am I rambling? A little bit. I sound like I'm rambling. That's okay. So anyway, the, the center boards are in a, they're in a fiberglass housing inside of the cabinet here. It's covered up. This is our storage. And this fiberglass, is this fiberglass is a has a um, what do you call it a channel that runs all the way up and down inside of there and this is the mechanism for raising and lowering it but so this is a half inch drive eight point socket um, they use for square bolts but also for like pipe plugs um, and it fits on top of the the half inch drive nip, uh, nipple that's sticking out of this uh, mechanism. So these are the tools that, uh, that raises it and lowers the center board. And uh, also this socket, it is a star socket like this. Um, an eight pointed star socket, I guess that's what you call it. This, so this is a lock nut in back and this is to raise it and lower it. And this tool goes on that lock nut raise and lower, uh, unlock it, and then raise and lower it with the handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I go counterclockwise to unlock it. And that lowers the uh, center board. Okay, up in here. I don't know if you can see that. Spins around, drops the center board, and you can see it goes down into the water there. And then we would lock it in position and that'll keep it down. 
and to raise it, we unlock it. And it's raised back up. It has a pivot point. Let me show you this. It has a pivot point right there. And if you got a Gemini and you start having some leaks, it can leak around this pivot bolt. That's where it pivots from, and then it raises and lowers like so. And if you were to hit something, hit the bottom or something, it would actually push that back up into the cavity. But that's how the center boards work, and that's what gives us our our kill for we can sail up, you know, especially cutting into upwind. Hey guys, hey, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you push the like button and share and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We appreciate you watching the videos and uh, stay tuned. We're gonna do some more on how what it takes to run our boat. I'm gonna put this back together.